This isn't just any ordinary 1950 Washington quarter. What sets it apart isn't merely its silver composition, uh, a precious metal compared to the current copper nickel blend, but rather a unique mint error on its reverse design. Specifically, this error is the tiny overmint mark below the eagle, a feature that significantly boosts its value. In the realm of U.S. numismatics, this error is categorized as a repunched mint mark D over S. The anomaly is such that the upper loop of an S is visible protruding from the upper left and top of the D, which itself has been lightly repunched. This particular error has made the coin highly desirable among collectors. It was graded MS66 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and fetched $7,500 at a Heritage Auctions event. Have you ever stumbled upon a Roosevelt dime quite like this one? At first glance, it may seem like typical pocket change, a circulated and worn 10 cent piece. However, this dime stands out due to its extraordinary minting error, one that led it to fetch $40,800 at a Stax Bowers auction in March. This particular undated Roosevelt dime was struck using two reverse dies, meaning it lacks the usual obverse design, or in simpler terms, it doesn't feature Roosevelt's head on either side. Such coins struck from mismatched dies are known as mulings and rank among the rarest and most sought after of all U.S. Mint errors. Muling errors usually involve the accidental combination of dies that were meant for different designs or even different denominations of coins. Therefore, if you ever come across a dime like this, it's advisable to consult a professional numismatist instead of spending it. Its value could be significantly more than its face value. Presenting a 1953 S. Jefferson nickel, this coin has been graded by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, with a Mint State 65 plus rating. It boasts the full steps designation, indicating that the steps on Monticello's porch on the coin's reverse are sharply defined. The 1953 S is noted for being one of the more challenging dates to find in any full steps grade, often attributed to issues with how well these coins were struck. Most 1953 S nickels exhibit a worn die appearance with somewhat mushy details, yet this particular coin stands out for its well-delineated steps on Monticello, distinguishing it from other examples from the same year. This remarkable coin achieved a sale price of $5,040. Here's a true gem in the numismatic world, a 1917 Lincoln cent. The year 1917 itself marks one of the scarcer dates for Lincoln cents. But what truly distinguishes this piece from other pennies is its doubled elements on the obverse, or the front side of the coin. Both the date and the phrase, In God We Trust, feature bold doubling, making it an immensely popular variety among collectors and noted in both the Cherry Pickers, Guide, and the Guidebook of United States Coins. This particular coin, a fire red gem, has been graded MS65 red by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. Coins of this grade are exceptionally rare and sought after by collectors and collectors and registry set enthusiasts alike. Finer examples are rarely seen on the market as they are often tightly held within private collections. This remarkable coin was sold for $19,200. Have you spotted the oddity in this Lincoln scent? At a casual glance, it might seem like just another piece of pocket change, possibly altered by someone with too much time on their hands. However, it is, in fact, a remarkably elusive error coin. This 1999 Lincoln scent was mistakenly struck over a 1999 P. Roosevelt dime. The diamond scent blanks are nearly identical in size with a very minimal difference in diameter, which occasionally leads to such mishaps at various branches of the U.S. Mint. The design elements of the original dime, including parts of E. Pluribus Unum, States of America, and the central device are clearly visible on the obverse side of the coin, marking it as a fascinating error piece. This particular coin was graded MS64 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and garnered a price of $780 at a Stax Bowers auction. Presented here is a 1954 D. Franklin half dollar, a coin considered moderately scarce when found in Full Bell Lines gem mint state condition. The term full bell lines is specific to Franklin half dollars, focusing on the clarity and detail visible on the coin's reverse where the Liberty Bell is showcased. Originating from a series minted between 1948 and 1963 and designed by John R. Sinnock, the Liberty Bell's representation is central. 
full bell lines denotes that the horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell are sharp and fully struck, showcasing no signs of wear or interruption. This quality assessment is crucial for collectors who prize the fidelity of the bell's image on the coin. A specimen of this quality, graded MS67, achieved a sale price of $6,600 at a Stax Bowers auction on March 26, 2024. As we wrap up today's journey through the fascinating world of numismatics, we hope you've enjoyed exploring these remarkable coins and the stories they carry. Each piece not only offers a glimp glimpse into history, but also showcases the incredible craftsmanship and the occasional quirks of the minting process that make numismatics such a captivating hobby. If you've enjoyed diving into the world of rare coins with us, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button. Your support helps us continue to uncover and share these treasures with you. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest numismatic adventures. Thank you for watching, and until next time.